I decided that since we have expanded this section of floor, it is sensible to make the bathrooms a bit bigger. So we will go ahead with that. I'll start by building that one. And I'm not certain. I'd like to put the next one here, but I can't fit it while there's an active bathroom there. This one is going to be for females. That was also the female one. Okay. Um, I may just have to not have that bathroom for a while and rely on one of the two smaller ones. I don't see a way of really getting around it. Uh, unless I put it in this space. Which is honestly just dead space right now, so let's do that. If I copy and paste... Holding down shift and go into planning mode. I want that to be, let's say, there. And we'll get rid of four on that side and turn those into urinals. flooring was I using? Ah oh, yes. And some doors might help too. <laughs> Alright, so once those are built we can get rid of the small ones and think about expanding the shopping area down the bottom and putting in some more seating and that sort of thing. I think we've got an adequate amount of seating for the number of flights and I did keep an eye on the check-in process as promised. I noticed that with the medium flights uh, they weren't the largest possible medium flights in the example I looked at but um, they were checking in and completing check-in well before the plane would actually be ready for them. So I think we can stick with just having one passenger service agent on each of these gate, uh, not gates, check-in desks and not be too concerned. Now the same probably applies for these ones. Because these are only managing small or medium, in fact they're only managing medium stands, we can change these over to be one agent each. I don't, no you can't do three at once, that's annoying. One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Thankfully there's not too many. But when we start dealing with larger planes, we definitely want two service agents per desk. We may want to think about making these bathrooms bigger as well. And possibly the way to do that is to move this wall. If I move that... To around here. Let's let's go into planning mode and draw this out. If I move that wall to say there. Ah, oh, come on. You're not gonna break the zoning on me, are you? Let's get rid of that. Yep. That's annoying. Okay. Just won't draw it all the way across. If I put the wall along here, that was meant to be in planning mode. Um, these bathrooms could be expanded a little bit or even not expanded and just be for check in. I can get rid of these ones, solve the 
or at least part of the problem with overlapping terminal zone and then have large bathrooms up here for the waiting area. That seems like a plan. So if I were to mark those out, um, that's the walls that we want there, make it 10 by 5. I think that should be a decent size and decent positioning. We can pretend our walls are here already, but they're not. same shape for once. I normally mirror the doors but I'm not going to bother this time. Cool. I think that will solve a lot of problems for me. And if we look at these buses, where are you going? No, you're leaving. All right. All right, this one. This one is the one I shall watch. You are waiting for CA101. CA, no, CA101 is going to have 72 passengers, that's a decent test. Here they come. Definitely no signs of red flags getting in the way of people getting through the boarding gates. Let's um, pop up to this view. Right, now you're due to take off at 9.25. Yeah, that's functioning much better than it was before. Excellent. Now the other thing that I did between episodes was fiddle around with some flights. Uh, if I skip along to Thursday, you can see there's none on 5, 6 and 7 at that point. So I'll be able to shut those gates at that point and relocate one of these service bays. So this one has one thing associated still, this one has none, it can go away. it can be opened. This one is already open for some reason. Can close that one, close that one, demolish all of that. And relocate these bins. In. Let's put some more seating over there. And I might actually pretty this up a little bit too while I'm here. Let's get some windows in. Does the large one fit? Probably not. Oh, it does. Ah, come on. Why is it doing that to me? Turn off the zones, thank you.
Alright. Uh, what is our satisfaction ratings looking like anyway? We've got... GA's pretty damn happy. Airlines, not so much. What's the problem? Improve by making sure all departing passengers' baggage reaches its aircraft. Um... Okay. I wasn't aware there was a problem with my baggage. And yeah, the passengers aren't too happy about seating and food, etc. That's what we're trying to solve. Everything else is pretty good. Cool. So if we speed up a little and get this tidied up. those proper secure zones and fix the flooring and I've forgotten which one it is again it's a wood is it this one I think yes excellent Room. I think that's looking much better. What's not looking better to me is this difference in the hedges, so I will fix that as well while I'm here. makes it a smidgen more symmetrical and more satisfying to the eye. So what could be going wrong with our baggage? Maybe they're not fast enough? Do I need more ramp agents? That could be the problem. Hang on, which side's which? <laughs> right, that's offloading. This is... Yeah, okay. Let's try bumping that up to three. Because there's a lot of bags. I mean, they're waiting for the baggage carts at the moment, but... Very intriguing. Where are your bags? Nope. Baggage, baggage, yeah. I'm not aware of there being a problem, but we do need to keep an eye on it in case that's not just a one-time thing. Okay, now the lack of passenger comfort I think is largely the lack of shops over here. We've got plenty of room to put them in. Just relocate that chair. We can actually have some decent sized ones in here. Now, I think we can get away with a pretty substantial one. Maybe not quite the five star. Uh, so if I were to, just drawing that for a second. What do we need for one of our four stars? This Bohem needs 158 meters squared. And that is 323. So this is 
plenty big enough. Let's get rid of it and put it more carefully. Um, food room, I will place it against this wall. Uh, let's say, yes, yeah, there. I think that size ought to do the trick. Between them, I'm going to have some wall. I said I'm going to have some wall, thank you. Um, let's make it go like this. Oh, stop being jumpy, thank you. some nice plants as well. Alright, for this you need four cook stations, four armchairs, two plants, two tables, and those plants didn't count. Alright, you can fix that. Armchairs. Not to be mistaken with modular sofas, which look very similar. Uh, do, 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 do. Oops. And tables. And. Where am I? This. Cook stations, cooking stations, cooking stations. Okay. If I were to put it. How do I want to design this? That way around, I think. Uh, it was four, wasn't it? So let's spread it out. Let's put. No, not a wall. Let's make a window. Oops. of it and fill in some of the other bits let's see we've got stoves and things haven't we stove there fridge there fridge there and then all the cleaning stations on the other side whoa that is not a particularly helpful image all right let's see what else we've got Nope, that's the only cleaning thing. Alright. Need to zoom right in to see which way I'm going. Yes, okay, that way is correct. And let's have our counter there. Spread it out a little. Cool. Let's copy and paste those chairs and table. Like so, and that should be absolute overkill for this contract. Now what size was that? <laughs> Really? <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> I don't understand the logic of these uh, passengers sometimes. Are they trying to get into the food store? Or... Oh, I see what I've done. Okay, hang on. Um, 
can I move it? No. If I delete it, what's going to happen to the f contract? Okay. Hurry up and delete it so I can put it back. <laughs> Not for the first time I find myself wishing that you could just move things and schedule things to be built in a certain order and removed in a certain order, but oh well, we'll just have to make do. Um, okay, now this one, let's make it look completely different. Um, shop counter. There and no, sorry, not there. There and there, and shelving in between. Now, let's pick a contract and figure out what they need. Four stars, yeah, they just need more shelves, cool. We're going to go absolute overkill again, but uh, hang on. Do that. Put that there, 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 and there, and then get rid of these ones. So I want space for um, passengers to be able to queue up and use the purchasing desks. Which hopefully I put a, put the correct way around this time. Yes, it looks like I did. And if I were to zoom out and pop over here for a second. Copy. There was a reason I chose that room size. Okay, put the door in the wrong spot, but otherwise that was pretty good. Why can I not paste this? Must be placed. Really? Why can't I do it? if I do a part of it at a time. I want these. Have I drawn the wrong room type? No. Why? Oh, because it's planned, I suppose. That might be the problem. Um, Yay, okay, cool. Oh, that, what happened just then? That was not the right sound, that was the bulldoze sound. Thank you. there and wall goes there and bins and vending machines and all of that lovely stuff put that there um, here perhaps
make this nice and fancy. They can have some marble flooring. We've got enough passengers down here to warrant it, that kind of expenditure. And let's also make our staff room look a bit different to the rest of the floor. And if I remember correctly, no, I didn't. Okay. This is supposed to be a staff only corridor, not that passengers should have been able to get to it anyway. And I don't have a staff room for this section at all yet, so I shall put that in here. Can't cross different zones, okay, fine. Like so. No, close but no cigar. stuff only thank you very much staff would like to be able to see if their service car has arrived yet so let's put some windows in there and similarly ooh. oh that's just a GA flight they take care of themselves I don't need to pay attention to that it's fine can a large window fit here properly not quite okay that's fine medium will do just nicely There's a whole lot to look at while you're down here in the underground, but even so, I as a passenger want any visual stimulation I can get when I'm in an airport. <laughs> I don't want to just be staring at other people and the seats and the floor. These have been constructed, they can be enabled. Um, that one is the female one, this one is the male one. Which means I can switch these ones off for the moment. They're not getting deleted, they're just getting switched off because we need to relocate these walls. Which is going to be a fun little game. Um, security. If I dezone some of this carefully. confusing myself okay um, that because we're going to need to build new security exits um, yeah okay <laughs> let's do this sensibly thank you auto save that was a very annoying timing I shall wait till those walls are gone before I get too carried away. These ones can be constructed now. Eventually. Right, I want to construct security exit there and there. Assuming my contractors ever get rid of this wall, that won't break the system. There we go. Sooner or later, it will eventually get done. 
Um, right, maybe this bathroom is going to get moved. Kind of makes sense now, doesn't it? Okay. Delete. Yep. Incidentally, can these be moved? They can. Excellent. Three, four, five here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that. And turn these into rooms. Green freeze. <laughs> bathroom, bathroom. Start moving all that stuff in there. This is going to take a while, and I might just do it a totally different way because, frankly, moving them one at a time is just painful. I'll clean that up between episodes and meet you in the next one. Bye bye.